We have come here today to remember those we have loved and see no longer, to give thanks for their lives and what they meant to us. We acknowledge the pain of being the ones left behind, but can also acknowledge their moving on to be closer to God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. And we begin by singing our first hymn, Lord of all hopefulness. Please be seated for a reading from Isaiah. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my sight, and honoured, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life.
Please sit for our reading from the New Testament. A reading from John's Gospel. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. My hope this evening is that you can all find some comfort in coming together with a common purpose, to remember those who have died and to acknowledge the importance of their memory to us. Our hymns, readings and prayers will bring to us the reminder that through the centuries The Church has brought that love and hope to those who have lost loved ones in their time of sadness. Commending those we have loved to God's care means that we are putting our trust into Christ's promise that through his resurrection, we as God's children can share in the eternal life that he gained for us. This gives to us the hope that when our time on earth is done, 
we do not disappear without a trace, but that our souls are freed from the bodies that housed them and become part of God's eternal kingdom with those who have gone before. Throughout his life, Jesus reached out to people in need, those who needed healing, those who needed feeding, and those who needed to hear of God's love. Tonight, we are reaching out to those who need to know that through Jesus, God's love and care are there for them in their sadness and as they move on. Amen. We will now begin reading the names of those who we are remembering. And as the name of a loved one is read out, please come forward to light a candle. We remember with gratitude Ernest James Ankers, Jim. Jennifer Marjorie Basford. Cyril Wilfred Bebbington. Sylvia Madge Bickley. Joyce Bridge. Celia Margaret Camplin and Patrick Alexander Camplin, Pat. Margaret Rose Day. Amanda Jane Dodd. Beryl Mildred Elizabeth Edge. John Ellison. Robert John Ellison. Ethel Mary Evans. Philip James Evans. Wendy Foster. Angela Ferber. Brian Ferber. Thomas William Green. Andrew Alfred Hamer, Packy. Joan Hanmer. Reginald John Hawthorne, Reg. Edith Elizabeth Jones, Betty. Joyce Irene Lewis. Muriel Jean Lyman. 
Emma Louise Mason. Tanya Marie Millward. Doreen May Moore. Sheila Rosaline Morehouse. Janet Elizabeth Murhall. Evelyn Parker. Sylvia Poole. Margaret Rose Purcell. Sheila Mary Rickett. Herbert Charles Ricketts, Bert. Ronald George Rock. Florence Eva Rogers, Eve. Janet Russell. Kerry Russell. Frank Saywell. Nicola Leslie Smith. Margaret Ellen Speed. James Patrick Stevenson Smythe. William Slater Felwell, Bill. Eileen May Wainwright. Peter Wainwright. Margaret Wally. Thomas Williams. Tom. Zoe Jane Mills. Graham Malcolm Ashley. Patricia Ann Jones. Pat. Peter Collins, on the fifth anniversary of his death today. Walking with Grief by Andy Rain. Do not hurry as you walk with grief. It does not help the journey. Walk slowly, pausing often. Do not hurry as you walk with grief. Be not disturbed by memories that come unbidden. Swiftly forgive and let Christ speak for you, unspoken words. Unfinished conversation will be resolved in him. Be not disturbed. 
Be gentle with the one who walks with grief. If it is you, be gentle with yourself. Swiftly forgive. Walk slowly, pausing often. Take time. Be gentle as you walk with grief. And in a time of silence, let us make our personal thanksgiving to God for all of those we are remembering and everything they meant to us. As we enter this time of prayer, to the words, do not be afraid, for I shall be with you. Please respond, lighten our path, Lord, and show us the way. The road ahead can seem very long and very dark after the death of a loved one. Often there seems little point in going on. Sometimes the pain and loss can be quite overwhelming. But God says, do not be afraid, for I shall be with you. Lighten our path, Lord, and show us the way. We hold before God all those who are newly bereaved and all those who have journeyed on a while since their bereavement. May those who have passed this way reach out and reassure those who cannot believe the pain and sadness will ever pass. Do not be afraid, for I shall be with you. Lighten our path, Lord, and show us the way. We hold before God all those who have seen division in their family since someone has died. 
May God's way of love heal the hurt and bring the family closer together again. Do not be afraid, for I shall be with you. Lighten our path, Lord, and show us the way. We hold before God all who are remembering their parents. We thank God for the life they gave us. Do not be afraid, for I shall be with you. Lighten our path, Lord, and show us the way. We hold before God all those who are remembering children who have died. We expect our children to be our future. And when they die, so many of our hopes and expectations go with them. Do not be afraid, for I shall be with you. Lighten our path, Lord, and show us the way. We hold before God all those partners who have died those who feel lonely and unsettled, those who long for another human's touch, a hug, a kiss. Do not be afraid, for I shall be with you. Lighten our path, Lord, and show us the way. May all of us be aware of our neighbours and friends who grieve. May we welcome them into our homes and dare to walk the road with them for a while. May they in time find a new and healed way forward with God at their side. Do not be afraid, for I shall be with you. Lighten our path, Lord, and show us the way that we may go on trusting that you are here with us wherever our path goes. And together we say the prayer that Jesus continues to teach us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
as we journey through life in times of sadness and in our times of laughter, let us go out into the world. Let us live our lives well. Let us not be afraid. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Neither death nor life can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God.